Well, happy Independence Day, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and friends, a time celebrating our freedom as Americans and uh, and the Declaration of Independence, our Constitution, all the great blessings we have here. Independence Day is a wonderful time to celebrate those. And you may or may not be actually listening to or watching this devotion on Independence Day, but uh, this is for Monday, July 4, and we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And what I wrote at the top of my journal after reading and thinking about this chapter is the challenge of, uh, of self-awareness the challenge of self-awareness and how conflict and maybe even pride and arrogance can result from a a, a failure to really have have solid self-awareness. Friday, when we looked at chapter 3, Paul mentions that they are a very divided church. And in this book of 1 Corinthians, there are several reasons they're divided, divided over many things. Um, and it was a direct result of their failure to grow, their immaturity. In chapter 3, one of the things they were divided over was some thought Paul was the best preacher, other, others thought Peter was the best preacher, others thought Apollos was the best preacher, and they, and they gave their allegiance to, to, to different ones, and, and they were divided over these different pastors. It's just silly, but the truth is it's silly what God's people get upset about sometimes. Anyway, uh, we could spend a lot of time talking about that. But I want to talk about self-awareness. In verses 3 and 4, <clears throat> Paul says, But to me, to himself, it is a very small thing that I may be examined by you, that you judge me, um, or by any human court. In fact, I do not even examine myself. For, because... I am conscious of nothing against myself, yet I am not by this acquitted. That doesn't let me off the hook. But the one who examines me is the Lord. Now, there are other places in the New Testament where Paul very clearly says we are to to reflect and do self-examination. The point he's making here is that it is hard for us to judge ourselves because we as humans often struggle with accurate self-awareness. We don't see our blind spots. We struggle sometimes to be honest with ourselves about our situation. Uh, And so Paul is saying, the truth is, I lack full self-awareness, so I need God to judge me, examine me. I need God to show me because... Without that, I'm probably not going to see it. It's one of the one of the hardest things in life is to have genuine self awareness, but it is essential. Self awareness is essential to growth, to improvement, to change, to getting better at things. It can be so painful to realize that that's a problem in your life that. This thing you do, this attitude you have, this this thing in your personality is holding you back, is hurting people, is, 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 is a problem. That can be painful to discover that. But the growth that can come and the change that can come is a blessing. Growth may hurt, but it always ends up being a blessing. Um the inability or the unwillingness To become self-aware always causes damage. And while it may hurt others, ultimately, now listen to me, ultimately the person that is damaged the most by an unwillingness or an inability to develop self-awareness, ultimately the person that is hurt the most is you, the person who doesn't want to be self-aware. Because it will lead to an attitude that's always blaming others. It's never your fault. You're always blaming others. They need to change. You don't ever need to change. Or if you do change, you're just changing because that's what you have to do to get along with them, but you don't really think you need to. You're just doing it because, you. well, the only way I'm going to survive this is to change, but you don't really see the need for it. You don't really believe you need to. 
It leads to conflict. It leads to uh, division. It and 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 it may even end up costing you because long term people struggle to stay in relationships with people who lack self awareness. It just it just becomes hard after a while for people to put up with it. In the end, you will pay. And in the midst of this chapter where Paul is dealing with, with so many issues in the church, the one, one of the, the points he makes here when you really dig into it is he understood that self-awareness mattered, allowing God to show us, allowing God to examine us, allowing God to judge us is so important because we are blind. We are blind quite often to our own need for growth and change. That's the word for today. Look forward to being with you tomorrow morning.